A church community in Brooklyn is devastated following news that their food bank is being shut down by the church's pastor. As CBS 2's Zania Maldonado reports, the church said it had no choice. The Helping Hands Food Pantry is a ministry that has operated out of the St. Augustine Church in Park Slope, Brooklyn, since the 1990s. Volunteers who say they aim to put their faith into practice through community service are upset with Father Frank Tamino's decision to close the pantry this Saturday. Very disappointing that this is happening. We love coming here. I don't even know how many people in the neighborhood know the food pantry is closing. That's the that's travesty of this particular closing. It was not during Lent, mind you, Lent. The church says the pantry, which serves around 400 residents a month, failed to comply with certain mandates to help keep children and adults safe. We can't take the risk as a church, as a parish, to allow people in need to come and be uh, serviced by people that we don't know their full story, their background check, they haven't been in the proper training. Volunteers say over the last few weeks, everyone had complied with the necessary requirements, but were told by the church, too little, too late. When he called us to the rectory to give us notice, we, we pointed out to him that, as a matter of fact, the last four weeks, we've been reporting who the volunteers were, and we've been in perfect compliance. Now, parishioners tell me they weren't surprised to find out the food pantry here at St. Monica Hall was being shut down, as other church ministries have been closed recently as well. Over the past few years, parishioners say the church put an end to a Christmas party for the children of incarcerated parents, a Haitian support group, a monthly dinner for people with AIDS, and raised the rent tenfold on a bi-week Weekly alcohol anonymous meeting. Father Frank arrives with his chariot and he said uh, the rent is now $800 a month. We couldn't afford it, so we had to leave. In a statement, the church said, unfortunately, there have been some programs which have failed to comply with parish, legal, and diocesan requirements. As such, the safety of all parishioners and the financial integrity of the parish cannot be compromised. From Park Slope, Brooklyn, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News.